guys, how's it going? My name is Jeremy. Welcome to Polyphonic Press. And I know it's been a while since I did a review. I, I apologize for that. Um, and I've gotten a couple more uh, subscribers since I did my last review. So thank you guys for uh, coming to the channel. And to the old subscribers, thank you for sticking around. Um, basically, if, if you don't know, I work in a factory. I work 12-hour days. It really takes a lot out of me. So when I get a day off, I really don't feel like doing anything but relaxing. So I haven't really been um, motivated to, to do any videos or anything like that. But um, I'm not, just to sort of dispel anything, I'm not quitting or anything like that. I just, um, I just felt tired and sort of, you know, unmotivated to do anything. But I'm back and uh, hopefully I will be, I will do reviews whenever I can. It won't be on a consistent basis um, as long as I have my day job. But I will still continue to do reviews more frequently than I have. Um, and again, I apologize for not uh, not being uh, as consistent as I should be. But anyway, now that that's out of the way, uh, today I'm going to be reviewing Wrecking Ball by Bruce Springsteen. Now, I'm sure you guys know who Bruce Springsteen is. Uh, if you don't, you've been living under a rock for a long time. Uh, he's a legendary guy he's from New Jersey. Everyone knows that. Um, and this is his brand new album. It's his 17th album overall. He, he's been in the game quite a while. He's, he's been around since the 1970s. I really think his first album, uh, Greetings from Asbury Park, New Jersey, is a really fantastic album. Um, it's probably my favorite album of his because it's so raw and, and so full of uh, energy. Uh, but anyway, I digress. This album starts off with a song called We Take Care of Our Own. And um, it's got a sort of very up-tempo, sort of victorious feel. And it was also the first single to be released from the album. And when you hear it, it really does sound like a Bruce Springsteen song. Which is a good thing. Uh, he's consistent in his career. And right away you can tell that it sort of has that feel that's sort of become synonymous with his name. It's got really thought-provoking lyrics and he's sort of commenting on the world around him. And he's sort of saying that, you know, people are sort of nowadays less willing to sort of help each other. Everybody is sort of looking out for themselves. And it's true, the world sort of does have this every man for himself sort of attitude. You know, it's clear that this feeling is on Bruce Springsteen's mind and he really brings attention to it the, the best way he can is by writing a song about it. The song Shackled and Drawn really has more of a minimal feel to it. It doesn't really have any strings or anything on it. Uh, one thing that's really cool is it really reminded me of like an old blues ballad. I can really see this song being sung in, you know, like a cotton field or something, you know. Um, and it's really uh, sort of more emphasized with the imagery on the lyrics. I thought one thing that was really clever about this song is that it has an accordion playing this melody underneath it. Um, and it just sort of reinforces that kind of feel that this organic sort of uh, vibe with the song. You know, this was easily one of my favorite songs on the album. The title track, Wrecking Ball, is really sort of a powerful song. Uh, it doesn't really have any drums on it until you get to the middle where it just sort of explodes into this um, almost epic song. And that sort of explosion into this jam really drives home the, the feeling of the lyrics. But uh, up until that point, it's just Bruce with an electric guitar and it's him just really the lyrics really take over and that's really what you pay attention to and that's really the point of this song it's not to um to have the greatest music on it it's just to deliver a message and again it has that feeling that uh you know people have become sort of really cynical and more self-indulgent and, and uh, you know, it's just him commenting on how he sees the world. The second single from this album is Rocky Ground. And to be honest, I thought this was the weakest song on the album. It's very um, sample heavy. It's a little bit more experimental. But again, it, it doesn't really hold up to the rest of the songs on the album. It's not a bad song. It's just, um, you know, every album has a weak spot. And this is this album's weak spot. Um, I really didn't connect with it as much as I did with the rest of the songs. Um, it just didn't hold up for me. The album closes with a song called We Are Alive, and it really kind of has more of a feel that's uh, sort of similar to the song Wrecking Ball, where it's just Bruce with an acoustic guitar this time, and then later on it explodes with the whole band playing. Um, and again, it's the same sort of message, and I thought this was a really good way to close the album because it really 
you know, drives home the, the message of this album and really sums everything up. You know, to me, each song has a unique feel and a unique um, sort of instrumentation, but at the same time, with lyrically, it has a sort of continuity to it. So although, you know, the vibe of the song can change, really the message is all the same. Production on this album is pretty well done. It's not overproduced or overpolished. It's really done more or less to serve the song. One thing I really liked about this that you don't really see in rock music nowadays is Bruce is commenting on the world around him. And a lot of the times uh, rock bands and songwriters tend to be a little self-indulgent. It's more like, um, you know, I met this girl, she broke my heart, and I feel sad about it. And everyone can relate to that, but it's, and I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with it, but I'm just saying it's not, it's a nice change to hear someone, um, commenting on the world and, and, and saying, you look, you know, the world is a screwed up place. Uh, what can we do about it? And that's sort of what Bruce Springsteen has always sort of done is, um, you know, back when in 1984 when he did Born in the USA, that was really a jab at Ronald Reagan and how he was treating uh, Vietnam War veterans. And so he, he, this is what Bruce Springsteen sort of does. He just sort of every couple of years puts out an album as to, and sort of says what, how he feels about the world. And, um, you know, that's what he's known for. That's what he does best. And uh, I hope he, he continues to do that. Um, I really like this album. I thought it was a, a really well-written songs. Um, you know, some great instrumentation from the E Street Band, or members of the E Street Band, rather. And uh, yeah, I really liked it. So I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. That's what I thought about the album. Let me know what you guys think in the comments or with the video response. Don't forget to check out the Twitter, Facebook, and Last.fm pages, as well as the website, polyphonicpress.com. And if you'd like to uh, suggest an album for me to review, please leave that in the comments. And uh, I guess I'll see you next time. Take care. <laughs>